Hey, I'm Eric Ping. I'm a natural resource technician here at Hitchcock Nature Center. And we're on scene of a growing season prescribed fire right now. Um, it's kind of out of the of our regular fire regime or regimen. Um, generally, we do annual dormant season fire in the in the fall. Um, uh, for a lot of different reasons, uh, generally that's the safest time to do it for our like, irreplaceable remnant prairies. Um, uh, we do have areas here at Hitchcock that have been extremely altered, and uh, this is one of them. This is Bulldoze Valley. Just like the name implies, it was all bulldozed uh, back in the 80s uh, as part of a project to make this into a landfill. Um, the County Conservation Board reseeded the area after it had all been disturbed and had the you know the property had come into possession and that was a good first step and one of the problems with so much disturbance is even when we reseed uh, we're not replacing everything that's missing from that ecosystem so not all the plant species not all the animals not all the animal species especially not the invertebrates or the microorganisms or the fungi and so there's a lot of gaps in this uh, biological community and what tends to happen is in those communities they become really weak and those gaps get filled with invasive species and some of those invasive species are like white sweet clover and some different invasive species of brush. Um, here in Bulldoze Valley white sweet clover is the main culprit and as you can see behind me there's a lot of in woody encroachment um, which is again just an effect or a kind of a byproduct of this area being so disturbed and not having um, necessarily the typical uh, ecological drivers that it normally would have. So we're here today performing a growing season fire um, to help abate those symptoms. So the bulldozing left kind of a big scar and the seeding was kind of like putting a band-aid on it um, but this brush and the other invasive species are kind of like a festering infection um, and we're trying to heal that wound by returning fire and some grazing to bring that system back and improve its health. So we're burning right now because the brush and especially the sweet clover are very susceptible to fire at this time of year and we're certainly going to be setting back some of our the plants that we want, the native plants. However, they're extremely fire adapted and they're going to flourish um, here in the coming weeks. If we get some rain, um, the valley will be green again, um, you know, in a matter of week and a half, two weeks. Um, meanwhile, the fire will have top killed a lot of the brush and that's gonna leave a lot of um, extra sunlight getting down to the ground level for those prairie plants that are being shaded out to soak up and get their time in the sun. The timing of the fire is also going to considerably reduce the amount of viable seed produced by the invasive white sweet clover. So it's a multifaceted approach. It's not our typical strategy that we employ, but um, it's another tool in our toolbox um, that we're working, that we're using to try to to heal this landscape that's so important to us here at Hitchcock.